After World War II, from 1941 to 1948, in a span of eight years, 259 terrorist attacks were conducted by Jewish terrorists. By many organizations, Ignun, Stern Gang, Haganah, and we know of the famous bombing of King David Hotel, which took place on the 22nd of July, 1946. They were conducted by Ignun under the leadership of Menekin Begin, in which 91 innocent people were killed, out of which 28 were British, 41 were Arabs, 17 Jews, and five others. The Ignun group, they dressed up as Arabs to show as though Muslims did the bombing. And the person responsible was Menekin Begin. And it was the biggest terrorist attack against the history of British mandate in which 91 people were killed. And at that time, Menekin Begin, he was called as terrorist number one by the British government. Later on, after a few years, he becomes the Prime Minister of Israel. And later on, after a few years, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. Imagine, a person who has killed, a person who has killed hundreds and thousands of innocent human beings, becomes the Prime Minister of Israel and later on gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. And most of the groups that were fighting, like Stern Gang, Ignun, Haganah, all of these Jewish groups and the leaders, like Yatisak Surubin, Menekin Begin, Ariel Sharon, later on became prime ministers and high holding ranks in the state of Israel. And all of them, they were fighting for a Jewish state. If you see the world map, before 1945, Israel did not exist. Israel didn't exist. These Jewish groups, they were called as terrorists by the Britishers. They fought for a Jewish state. Later on, with power, they grabbed the land and they kicked the Palestinians out. And now these same people are calling the same Palestinians who are fighting for a more just cause, for getting the land back. And they are labeled today as terrorists by the Israelis. <laughs> Imagine Hitler insulated six million Jews. He kicks the Jewish community out. Why should they come to Palestine? The Palestinians, they welcome the cousins with open hands. If they should take a land, they should go back to Germany. They should go back to Europe. Imagine the Palestinians welcome the cousins. Imagine, suppose a visitor comes to your house. Being a stranger, you welcome him in your house. After a few days, he kicks you out of the house. And when you cry at the doorstep, I want my house back, people call you a terrorist. <laughs> this is exactly what has happened today. The Palestinians, they are called as terrorists. For what? They only want the land back. And so-called people, most of these powerful first world countries, they are agreeing with this unjust cause. 